going on? Your boy old Scruggs here. OS Sports Podcast. Once again, we're not even doing sports. We doing some impromptu ish. All right. Change it up a bit. Talk about this food I just got. Now this food, the packaging looks normal. Doesn't look like anything special. Got some string beans with it as well. Um, it looks normal. Don't look like it's anything special. Like you, something you could whip up and do in your own lunchbox from at home. So this is from a place called Brooklyn Fish Fish Fry. Very well known spot in New York, especially in Brooklyn. If you like soul food, it's one of the um, more famous, more well known soul food franchises in Brooklyn. I think it's only in Brooklyn. Hence the name Brooklyn Fish Fry. But they might have some somewhere else also. Anyway. So what I got is the fried whiting sandwich. Fried whiting sandwich. Now I'm open this up. I feel like we're doing the Popeye's chicken sandwich thing. <laughs> Love that chicken from Popeye's. Alright, this ain't chicken though. This is fish. Now, let me explain as we go through this. And I apologize for the video because I'm holding my phone with one hand and doing this with the other. Open that thing up. Alright, so this is the... Uh, once again, the packaging it looks normal. Look, it's not. It's nothing on it. It's a piece of regular bread. It's maybe I think it's potato bread actually. And then there's three pretty decent sized pieces of whiting fish. Now this is what I do when I get it, and this is what I love about this. I like that it comes plain like this, because I hate when you go to. Um, I hate when you go to get a sandwich somewhere. You like, oh, that fish sandwich look good. And then you get it and it's so much pickles and onions and whatever special sauce they use it. And it's like, damn, now you gotta, you won't even taste the actual item you bought because there's so much extra shit on it. Does that make sense to anybody? So I like that it comes plain. And then they give you your size to put on yourself. And we you got your tartar sauce I got. Got some ketchup. And we got some uh, hot sauce. All right, so. <clears throat> other thing I like about this, so what I'm gonna do is, cause that's too much sandwich for me to eat. I mean, I could, but I ain't. I splurge, but I splurge responsibly. So I'm gonna take one of these pieces of fish off, put that to the side. In fact, I need another container. Anyway, put this piece of fish to the side, make a whole another sandwich with that another time. You know what I'm saying? Then we gonna add my some hot sauce on that thing. There we go. A little hot sauce on the boy. Yeah. Gotta have the hot sauce on there. Only thing I'm mad, believe it or not, they didn't have that I love with my fish. They ain't had no mayonnaise. He is, son. Now I gotta use tartar sauce instead of mayonnaise, but it's all good. All right, hold on one second. I'll put the phone down. Yeah, we chefing it up a little bit. By the way, why do they make these things so hard to open up? Hmm, the fork and knife thing, why are they so hard to open up? feel like you gotta open that up before you um before you touch the sandwich because the sandwich the grease get on you then that plastic is hard to get a good grip on it because your hands little chicken fingers all fish fingers all greasy all right so let's see how that looks so we added the tartar sauce to that added the hot sauce and the tartar sauce i don't think i'm gonna put no ketchup on there because i think that's gonna be doing too much so put my potato bread, whatever this is, back on top. Yeah, boy. And you notice that good bread too, because when you touch it, it make a divot and stay there. That's how you know it's unhealthy and good for you. That's how it stick to your ribs. How it mash down. That's how it stick to your ribs. All right. Yeah, we getting it in. All right. We have the last finishing touch. Learned this from my daddy. As he would call them, gotta have your potato chips sandwich is not complete until you got the potato chips and i recommend with a mix just like people pair their wine like oh this red meat goes with this merlot you know what i mean this this pasta goes with this uh cabernet 
you gotta match your sandwiches up with the potato chips. Now with something like fish, I go plain. That's how I match them up. That's how my taste buds work. Hold on one second. Put this down again. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a little fancy and I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut the sandwich in half. I usually don't do that. I don't usually cut the sandwich in half and punk out like that. But this time I'm gonna do it. So I wanna look like I'm learning some class. Alright. I'm actually gonna cheat and take a bite. Mm. Yep. 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 And you know the food good when you start eating it before you even get it set up. I ain't even had my chips yet. Let me tell you. That first bite in this joint. First bite in this joint is crazy. Damn. Right, let's do another bite. You will not see me on camera eating. Not this time at least. But you will see my reaction. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. How did Michael Jackson song go? I am speechless, speechless. That's how you make me feel. Now if you. Ah, that's how I feel about this sound. Mm mm mm. And the chip is just a perfect compliment. Alright. Who invented potato chips? Is that Irish? Potato chips is my favorite snack of all time. I think it's Irish. I think the Irish pretty good though. I love potatoes, which ain't good for me because I'm pre diabetic. Not even because I'm unhealthy. I'm, I, I don't know what y'all thinking. Oh, I see why you pre diabetic. You eat them damn fish sandwiches. No. I was born pre, -di pre, -pre diabetic. Some family shit. <laughs> I'm actually pretty healthy. Um. And you gotta have some balance, cause hold up, what's the other thing you about to? Cause you got the string beans, you gotta get your veggies in. Let's see what the string beans hit for. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Something that's good can't be healthy, but it is. Mm. That's just, that's just like, that's as good as any string beans you gonna get on Thanksgiving. In any black household in America, right here. Mm hmm. Well, that's it right there. Mm. Y'all should see my face. Mm. My face look crazy right now. Like somebody could put me on the street corner and make some money. <laughs> and you also got to compliment it with I go with my ginger ale. And my water, always water. I'll team up the water with something, but always water. And this is my favorite water, the Essentia. That's my shit. Yeah. Yo, these string beans are to die for. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. That was my quick review of the best I fish fry famous spots things like three or four of them in brooklyn we will it check it out best style uh, fish fry i recommend the fish sandwich the fried whiting fish sandwich but the menu is dope check it out string beans boyo scrubs please hit the like button please leave a comment if you've been here before or a uh, name a spot where you from that's like this boyo scrubs hit the like button leave a comment peace 69 fucking days